Well, Merry Christmas, and this is the season for shopping, and I really do love to shop. And I want you to remember all of these merchants and artisans that provide our area with great local flavor. These are the people that employ others in our community, they pay the taxes, and when you're shopping this holiday season, I want you to remember to shop local. You may remember I visited Jen and Chuck from Chuck's Greenhouse over there on Route 45 in North Jackson. Now, if you want to sound really uh, educated, you say poinsettia, but most of us just say poinsettia. Well, they have thousands of poinsettia that they grow in their greenhouse. Of course, there's the traditional red, there's the jingle bell, and then with the white, they customize them. All you do is call them and tell them what color you want. Look at this beautiful purple. I got this for my niece Annabelle because purple is her favorite color. But they'll decorate it and they'll put glitter. They have small six inch pots to huge pots. And remember, nothing says Merry Christmas like a beautiful poinsettia plant. So make sure you call Chuck's Greenhouse. I love the smell of fresh pine in the house during Christmas. And if you don't have a live tree, you can still get a fresh wreath, and it is so fragrant. And do you remember, my friends, the Perdula family? They have Pioneer Trails Tree Farm. You can go cut your own tree. They have horse-drawn buggies to take you out there. And they have lots of pine roping and beautiful, fresh wreaths. They're right out there on Route 224 in Poland. Well, to really put you in the Christmas spirit, you must make a visit to the Arms Museum. It is a true gem in this community. Each year they have the Memories of Christmas Past exhibit with historical vintage ornaments and things that are of the period that you just do not see on display. And it benefits the Mahoning Valley Historical Society. But make sure you save a couple bucks and go to that gift shop. They have got vintage ornaments and decorations at very reasonable prices, and they benefit the Historical Society. All right, I picked this one up. Do you remember the Elf on a Shelf? Well, I used to have one of these when I was little, and of course, who knows what happened to it, but I bought this cute little guy at the Arms Museum, and he always sits on my Christmas mantle. I also collect angels. And I found this beautiful old ceramic figurine and she just has the most lovely face and I also got that there. So pick yourself up a memory or it's great for gift giving, but do make sure you make a visit to the Arms Museum during the Christmas season. Joe Sadie owns two great restaurants, the upstairs over there on Mahoning Avenue in Austin Town. A gift card is always greatly appreciated. And he also has Gourmet to Go, where you can order the wonderful food you eat there in pans to take home and serve at your next party. Large, small, whatever you need, you can call the upstairs and have that ready to go. And don't forget about Sadie's Place right there on Route 46 in the Meander Inn Best Western, right across from the Racino. Another great suggestion I have is the Kitchen Post. Remember my friend Ross Fowler right there on Youngstown Poland Road in Struthers? Kitchen Post has great food and they do a wonderful brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. Gift cards are available. If you're looking for wonderful food, creative food, and the menu that changes daily, stop and get a gift card for the Kitchen Post. Another one of my favorite restaurants is Stonebridge Grill and Tavern. It's a great locally owned restaurant. Fresh made food daily. The original location is on Route 224 in Boardman, and now they have a Helen location right there on Route 46. Open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. They have party rooms, they have catering. Everyone will appreciate a gift of Stonebridge. And when you spend $50 on a gift card, you get a free $10 bonus card. And who wouldn't appreciate a gift card to the Magic Tree? My buddies Phil and Sandy Rita have a great operation there. They have wine on tap, largest selection of craft beers, and don't forget Chef Tank, he has farm to table specialties. They have a party room in the back. I mean, it is just a wonderful atmosphere with great music. Everybody would love a little magic. Give them the gift of the Magic Tree. 
Well, Danny is the man. Cthulhu Prime Meats, always the best for your entrees. And of course, any sides. What do you need? Shrimp cocktail. Do you need some kielbasa? And now, Danny is making rubs. That's right. There's the Buckeye Butcher Rub. He's got the Youngstown Butcher Rub. Oh, and wait until you taste this one. I mean, I, I cannot eat enough to try these. This is the Kansas City Barbecue Rub. Everyone would appreciate a gift card from Cthulhu's Prime Meats. Well, everyone's Irish at Christmas time. Well, not really, but Irish gifts are always appreciated. The House of Aaron, Dick Coughlin and his lovely daughter Maureen have the most beautiful things. They have Aaron sweaters made, that's right, from the old sod, beautiful things like that. And they have a huge selection of bleak. I got these lovely coffee mugs there with the clatter and really reasonable prices. If you've got a Notre Dame fan, I'm telling you, House of Aaron, they are not just for St. Patrick's Day. We'll be right back with more local gift ideas. Another recommendation I have is the Courthouse Inn in Restaurant. My buddy, Rennie, oh, she has restored this within an inch of its life. Wonderful vegetarian offerings, beautiful bar area. If you want an intimate little Christmas party, that would be a great place to go for lunch or dinner. And if you're thinking about a special New Year's, why don't you rent one of their sweets for the night? Whether you're baking, whether you're making the seven fishes for Christmas Eve, or you want to send a gift basket, Rolly Brothers has you covered with all your supplies. They deliver, they make beautiful trays. You know my buddy man Leo will take care of you. And if you don't know what to get anyone, who doesn't buy groceries? Well, chocolate is always appreciated. And Landgraf Chocolates, right there on Western Reserve Road near South Avenue. It is an art form. Michael and his father make these beautiful chocolates and everyone would appreciate them. Iridescent, beautiful, natural flavorings made fresh daily. Who doesn't love a luxurious bath? I now tell you, whether you're showering or bathing, Body Goodies has it right. These are natural, organic soaps. Each one made by hand by my buddy, Heidi Goldberg over at Body Goodies. They're right there on Belmont Avenue in Liberty. She has room sprays, she has the melts that scent your home, and she also does wonderful lotions and body balms. Christmas morning, nothing is better than getting the purple box or the purple bag under the tree. Kamara Jewelers, oh, they have the most beautiful things. They have the Swarovski ornaments and an extensive line of Swarovski. And each year, there is a commemorative snowflake and glass globe ornament. You can stop by and pick one of those up. Great collectibles. And guess what's back in style? Pearls. Beautiful cultured pearls. They last a lifetime. Always in style. Another great gift suggestion are Monica Potter Home Products. I've gone to Hollywood. She's now my new best friend. Everything's made right there in Garrettsville, and she now has a permanent shop in the Euclid Arcade in downtown Cleveland. My cameraman, Bill, big fan. I mean, she makes great creams, wonderful scented candles, now going into uh, face oils, beard oils, aromatherapy, really, it's just a delight for that special woman, whether it's your girlfriend, your mother, your sister, your wife, go to Suzanne's Presidential Square Plaza in Boardman. Just what I'm wearing, Nanette Lepore, local girl, 20% off each and every day. Great girlfriend gifts. Look at this wonderful costume jewelry. And cashmere, you will die with the selection of the different cashmere items she has. Scarves, ponchos, gloves, Stop and see Suzanne, a uh, gift card would be greatly appreciated. I don't care if you're young or old, a bike under the tree is a pretty big deal. And if you're gonna get a bike this Christmas, why don't you stop and see my friend, Augie Toom at Toom's Bike and Clock Shop right there on Market Street in downtown Warren. For over 100 years, his family has been in business. 
beautiful Boulevard clocks from Germany. They have the cuckoo clocks and he services everything he sells. He wouldn't sell you something he wouldn't buy himself. So make sure you stop by Tombs right there in downtown Warren. Well, I hope you've been inspired by a few of my suggestions. Remember, try to shop for the local flavor. These are the people that support our community. And I want to thank Mark and Russell for allowing me to use their lovely home as my set on this fine evening as we take this segment. Bill, you've done a wonderful job. Love you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for supporting me each and every year. And really, thank you for watching The Casey Malone Show. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you next year. Merry Christmas.